All righty, we still have people sort of jumping in. Perhaps we should give them another few seconds. Welcome, Sister Mary, I see you. Uh, who else do we Good have? Good evening, there? CL. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sister Bola Ladna. Sister Joy and Mayara. I hope you will forgive everyone. me. Sister Joy. Why? Nice Good evening, what CL. happened? On your, on your day, I was so taken away. I made a mistake to pause the recording because we were having this free <laughs> conversation. You know how we just before we start. Yeah, the <laughs> and then I totally forgot once you started until maybe five minutes into your talk. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but we cut, we cut the salient points. We cut the oh, salient dear. points. And by the way, just to also say that all the recordings are on our, um, I mean, it's on my private Facebook page if you want to look for me there, Larry Jesus, but it's also on our um, YouTube channel. We now have a YouTube channel. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you can catch all the recordings there, whichever ones okay. you missed. Um, and remember to like us on. Because I, I hear with the like and subscription that people get to see it, okay? So we can have many more people see it. So please subscribe and like our YouTube channel. It's called Say It With Exclamation to Exclamation Marks. All righty. Well, welcome uh, everyone. You. Like I said, this is a 10th day, five more days to go live. Five more days to go live but it hasn't ended yet, all right? We're only gonna be live five more days, but we have 15 more days to go to the end of this. So don't give it up yet. Let's keep going and keep going until I think that would be the 30, 23rd of, 22nd of April. And then on the 23rd, we'll come back and celebrate like we did last year. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, so we do have another presenter, another host today. Let me pause this music. Give me one moment to pause this. I don't even know if you're hearing it, but I am and it's disturbing me. Okay, thank you. So we, today we have another uh, host in the house and to tell you the truth, she's been here like the host from the very beginning, not missing a day mm -hmm. and being the first person to hit the ground and helping to co-host every single day. You know, she's just, and that tells you a lot about the kind of person she is. She's just one very committed woman. Um, my reliable, I call her, she's very reliable and you can tell her to help handle this and literally go to sleep. And, and I'm so blessed because all of members of the leadership team are literally like that. She, she's just someone I've known for quite a while as well. As long as I've known Sister K, Sister Kofo, uh, 18 years. Again, uh, she's one of the women that our children were in the same primary school together for several years. And I've had an opportunity to work with, I think four of her five children, sis, right? <laughs> four of her five children, uh, I think I have uh, had that privilege of working with and they are no more children. They're all, you know, incredible young adults um, now doing very well to the, to, uh, to the glory of God. So sister Itoha, Okoje, oh, well <laughs> Mr. Itoha Okoje, what's the middle name that we must not forget? Uh, my middle name? Yes, your your surname. Oh, I, I hate I, 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 Oh, um, <laughs> so my name is a compound your name. name my, uh, your maiden name, name Akenzua, my, Sister Itoha Akenzua oh, Okoje. All right, and you know, like I said, she's just a really committed woman, a woman with a heart for Jesus. And she's been here from the very beginning. I just wanna give room now to her to bless us. She 
she's a compassionate person and I, that's what comes to me every time I think about her and uh, no wonder she's leading a team of compassionate women we all try to be compassionate but some are at a different level than people like me she definitely is at that level and she's leading a team of two other women three other women that are just really you know amazing compassionate women and we call this team face of compassion we know the face of Jesus is the face of compassion and these women bear the face of Jesus to us. So without much ado, let me uh, give room to my dear sister, my dear big sister, Sister Itoha Akenza Okobije. <laughs> I can't see your face, so you may need to adjust your camera just a bit. Okay, All I, right. I don't know what it's Thank, on. Thank you. Thank you, that's see. it, I'll see you now. All right, okay. Good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm going to copy this Ezra, everybody. Good evening, moms. Um, whatever part of the globe that you're, you're joining us from. Um, you're all so very, very welcome to day 10. And, and it, it sounds so incredible, day 10 of our declaration of our children and, you know, our children and children of the globe. And it's, and it's, it's, a, it's an awesome thought that we've reached day 10. And just like Seahouse said, um, Five more days to go, and then another 15 more days further down the line. It's a beautiful thought, and I'm so glad. Um, before we go into it, let's just have a quick prayer, and then we go straight into it by the grace of God. Our Father and our God, the Lord God Almighty, we thank you for everything that you have done. We thank you for the privilege of making us mothers, of, of being mothers in whatever capacity, just being mothers. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We thank you for the gathering today of all your daughters ready to pour out your word, your word that is yea and amen over our children. We know, Lord God Almighty, that once your word is spoken out into the atmosphere, it accomplishes what it has been sent for and never returns to your word. And we say thank you for that, Lord God Almighty. We thank you for the lives of our children. We thank you for the lives of the kingdom children. And we give you a little all the glory. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. There seems to be a bit of system. Can everybody hear me? Uh, you're breaking in and out, actually. Can everybody hear me? You're breaking a bit, but we can hear yeah, now. No, oh, okay. Can we... All right, go ahead. Can you hear us? Does it... Hello, hello. Come here. Uh, I can hear you very well. Can you hear me? Yes. Is it still breaking yes. in and out? A bit, but go ahead. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, I'm, I've taken off my headphones. Do you know whether? Okay, this is actually better. better. Yes, this sounds this sounds better. But your camera is low. Your camera is low, so we need to be able to see your face. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a quite a bit of glitch. Um, I don't know what I'm done here now. I'm trying to no, get it's okay. Go ahead. It's okay now. This camera off. It's, it's, this earphone is not working. And, and I'm live, please. To take it off. Um, so sorry, sisters. It will affect right okay, into it straight ahead. away in the next half a minute. Well, let him adjust um, your camera for you as well. Your camera. We need to be able to see your face. But if you want to switch it off, I you can no. just use can, your Can everybody voice. hear me now? I'm going to just go directly through my iPad. Yes, we can. Okay. And it's not breaking. Um, we won't know until you continue. Okay. Can you see my face as well? Exactly. Yeah. Your face is better seen this way. Okay. okay. So let me start. Okay. Sure. Uh, so before I go into um, the thoughts that lie behind today's declaration, um, please permit me, sisters, to just quickly go over the steps of how we will go through the process. Just 
for the benefit of those who, are, who might be new to today's declaration. Um, once CL uh, posts the declaration itself, uh, right now what we have is thoughts to consider, but once the declaration has been posted on the screen, um, I'd like uh, for all of us to just, if you could just follow my lead, please. I, we are, we're gonna say it two times. I will read it sentence by sentence. So if you could please just join me after each sentence, you know, read after me as it were. And the reason for that is just so that it can sound clearer. Because sometimes, you know how it is with Zoom calls, it gets a bit muffled when everybody's sort of talking at the same time. So that's really why. Uh, we will declare, the, the, we'll say the declaration of our children twice. Um, and after that, we will mute ourselves and then say the declaration over each of all our children. Some of us have two, some of us have one, some of us 10. Uh, please just, let's not bundle all the children together. Declare this declaration over each child. Because if we remember, God knows he knew every child before they were formed in our wombs, and he also knows every child by name. So we need to do that as well. So we'll do that for a minute or two. Uh, on the third count while we're all muted. And then after that, we'll come back and meet ourselves and then um, say this declaration over the kingdom children. And we call them kingdom children, all the children associated with our children um, as colleagues, friends, you know, peers in school, they're all people associated with our children. And so it's also good for us to not only pray for our children, but also pray for them. And another way I like to look at it is that you know, they're kingdom children, but they're also influencers because we, you know, we've always known that children or friends always influence, um, particularly children. Um, they can influence our children for good or for bad, but by the grace of God, in our case, everybody associated with our children will be influencers, will, be, will influence our children for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so, now that I've got that out of the way, and I hope I wasn't too long-winded, I'll go straight to the thoughts behind today's declaration, and I'm gonna put on my glasses. Let me not pretend that these eyes can see more than they can. Um, right, the thoughts, um, for those who may not have joined us before, the thoughts, we always have thoughts to consider before we read the declaration, and it, it's, it, it's just something to ponder over and relates to the declaration of the day. So here goes. Incredible spiritual insights are often received during moments of relaxation or while doing some of the most mundane things like walking, cooking, showering, or watching a movie. And I remember that a few days ago, Sia and one or two of us were talking on this subject. And I think it was she and Sister Mary. And they were saying, oh yes, they tend to receive a lot or hear from God a lot in the bathroom. I didn't particularly join in as such, but I also to get that. Um, and I often, even this morning, I was saying to myself, I wonder why it is that God, you know, meets us sometimes like in the, of all places in the bathroom when you're stuck naked, but I'm sure there are many reasons why that can happen. <laughs> um, 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 but I, um, you know, um, when you, pondering over the fact that, of course, God can meet us at any time, we know that that is true. And thinking about the fact that we're loving Christian parents, um, I don't know if you can relate to what I'm gonna say just now, as in sometimes we have a droning voice in our children's ears. Children get up, go to church, children get up, especially when they were young, you know, young, let's go to church, everybody get up, blah, blah, blah. I remember that was a, a big buzz in the house. Every Sunday, you know, we're all sort of in that routine. The children get older, they go to secondary school, some boarding school, some uh, at uni stage, whatever. And they start to have thoughts. They, 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 they go to church, you know, because mom and dad says go to church or mom or whatever, the parents says go to church. I'm all in church. But once they get to a certain kind of age, let's say from late teenage, latish teenage to young adulthood, um, and sometimes even earlier, children are reasoning for themselves sometimes outside of the parents. And they're questioning they're thinking, they're reasoning, and sometimes uh, they're within themselves. And you know, our culture, sometimes we, we don't enable the children to be able to express themselves, especially about church, because we have a good Christian household kind of thing. So the children keep it to themselves, and they're thinking, hmm, something is not quite right. They may be thinking that. And then particularly if, what's the, te if the teaching in, in church 
doesn't align with what they see around them in the environment, whether it's at home or whatever, you know, uh, they, they, they're seeing things from another perspective. Um, so, you know, you, you think, okay, they're not in, they're, so, um, so, but yet we're, we're, we're still forcing them at 20 years old. I mean, even I'm doing so, but actually I'll say, you guys should be going to church, uh, blah, blah, blah. But just like CL has put down in the thoughts, why does it have to be that it is in the church building? Why do we, why have we, why have we, it appears as though, why have we, that we've been indoctrinated into thinking that that's the only place that, you know, God can meet any one of us. Um, and sometimes even in church. So you're pushing the child further away because he or she has these questions and she's not sure if she can approach you with it without her being seen as the bad, you know, non-Christian or the sinner, or whatever it is. And sometimes even in the ministry itself, the church, the church um, world, there's a, a, a subtle form of guilt tripping where a child, oh, you didn't come to church last Sunday. Ah, you didn't come, you've not come for two, you know, and it just it may be many reasons why they haven't come, but there's a certain sense. I remember I even used to feel that, and I know with my children, they don't say, but I think because I used to feel it sometimes, I can see them like from certain conversations, it's like, oh yeah, 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 kind of thing. Mom, we know, but you know, there's that, there's that period, there's that um, time where they may be searching for themselves because they've got to that age. Um, so while, uh, while pondering that, uh, um, CL writes, um, I wonder where we get the idea that children have to be in church and to, uh, to be taught by God. After all, Jesus did not call P Peter or Paul from the temple, wherever they, they were busy doing their own thing, their everyday thing, their work, or they were on, the, on, the, on their boat fishing, uh, catching fish, and they were called from there. They weren't called in the temple. Um, so as our children approach their late teens and adulthood, if there's a resistance to go to church, and I wonder if many of us are, have seen that. I know I have sometimes. Uh, we shouldn't force it. Let's be open enough to discuss their faith struggles and avoid enforcing church attendance because really going to church shouldn't be so that, you know, my child has attended church or the child shouldn't feel that I'm just marking register. Let them be in church because they have a connection. God teaches us from the inside by his spirit. And he does not need the four walls of a church building to gain access to our children's spirit. And I believe we can all relate to that at some point. Um, one of the things I love about um, CL and also about the declarations of it is that a lot of her teachings and a lot of their teachings, sometimes a lot is out of the, is out of what you hear from the church. You know, because the church is so routine and so becomes so Christianese and so churchianity and so this and that. But you know that she has dug in deep. And so sometimes she comes up with these nuggets and it's like, okay, it's true. I've never thought of it like that, but it actually makes true. It actually is true and it is not heresy. So having said that, um, let's go on to um, in, go, go on to our declaration, but also to just quickly add to that, that we, let's just bear it in mind that not forcing our children when they're, particularly when they're at that stage, when they're, um, when they're searching and they're question, questioning and where we can have that conversation with them, it is, it'll avoid the angst that we feel because we're getting anxious that, oh, this is my child. What haven't I done right? The child is getting angry because you're, you know, forcing them to go to this place that they may not even necessarily believe because it's been the family church forever and a day. Um, I think let's just, let's leave it to God. It is God who, who um, grows the seeds that has been watered. And that, that, that's really the truth. It, it's, it's a trust in God to know that God loves our children. He has a plan for our children. So he will do that which he will do. I remember that I started off as a Catholic and it wasn't because somebody beat it over my head to become um, the type of Christian that I am now. And it's not to say that a Catholic, you know, being a Catholic is bad. It's just to say the growth that I've made, it's not because somebody, you know, held it. It wasn't because this was how it was brought up from home. God finds you and you, that journey takes place. And so um, having said that, it's now time for our declaration. And if you remember, please, I'll read it out and then please follow after me. Thank you. My child. My child. My child. You're taught by the Lord himself. You're taught by the Lord himself. 
Therefore, you enjoy great peace and nothing troubles your heart. We'll say it one more time and then we'll mute to say that. My child, my my child, child. you are taught by the Lord Himself. You are taught by the Lord Himself. himself. Therefore, you enjoy great peace. Therefore, you Therefore, enjoy great peace. Great peace. Great peace. Great peace. Great peace. Nothing, nothing troubles your heart. And nothing, and nothing, nothing troubles your heart. Our men in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you give me to over each of our five, six, seven, one time? My child, my child. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you enjoy great and nothing troubles your heart. When you talk like the Lord himself. Bless her be your name, or not. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ. Now we're going to say one more time over our kingdom children, the children who associate with our uh, children, with, as friends, as friends, as colleagues, um, and as influencers. One way or the other. And as we said, our children, all friends, all influencers, all children, uh, kingdom children will influence our children for good, and our children will also influence them for good in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read, and if you can please just amen. Children of the kingdom. Children of the kingdom. kingdom. You're taught by the Lord himself. You're taught by the Lord himself. You are taught by the Lord Lord himself. Therefore, you enjoy great peace. Therefore, you enjoy enjoy great great peace. peace. And nothing troubles your heart. And And nothing nothing troubles your heart. heart. Kingdom children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'm over to Thea. Thank you so much. God bless you all and God bless us as mothers. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, sisters, for coming today. Sorry, we overshoot, we've overshot our time a bit. But we want to thank you again for joining us for today's 10th day. Uh, please bear in mind, like Sister uh, I just said, what we have out there is not being sacrilegious. I'm not discouraging church going. 
But for those of us that have adult children, we know that um, enforcing anything doesn't work once once they become adults. It, it, it becomes, you know, we have to trust God that he knows how to reach them. And he has the exact language that they need to hear. And he will speak to them where they need to be to speak to them, even if they're at the club. Mm. Even at the club, let me say that again, Jesus will meet them at the club, wherever they are. So do not fret at all. If your children say they didn't go to church for weeks, do not have been there. And so some of the things I'm sharing, we're sharing out of you know experience, the older ones amongst us because we've been there. But God knows exactly where they are, amen? And he himself will reach our children the same way he reached Saul who became Paul, the same way he reached Peter and his brother, mm. amen? Or Andrew amen. he was at the time in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. 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 Thank you. See you all again Amen. tomorrow. Let's keep coming. Let's not be tired. Something is happening. Amen. 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 God bless. Thank you so Amen. much, sister. Thank you, Amen. thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>